Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. I am Tired Hinsa and you are watching SD TV. Economic justice is the core of social justice. There is no social justice without economic justice. But the policy maker, be it the fiscal policy or the monetary policy, often forget watching the interest of the state rather than in people. But now the upcoming economists have uh, trimmed their scope and they are very concerned about that what the people earn should reach them. So economic policy, especially the monetary policy, is now being focused or at least the independent economists are trying to ask the bureaucrats sitting in the central banks to focus more on economic justice rather than just uh, making a policy on the, on the whims of the state. We have today with us Mr. Benjamin Ra Rachenbach, have I pronounced it right, from FES Pakistan and Mr. Ali Kamal, famous economist, government economist working in Planning Commission of the Pakistan. I would start from Mr. Bach. How would you please comment on this, what we said? We just recently in STPA launched a paper on that as well. Yeah, so, you know that uh, I'm working with Friedrich Ebert Stiftung, a German political foundation. And what uh, we are trying is as a social democratic uh, institution right. to um, uh, add a perspective to the state market um, uh, logic, uh, because we think that it's uh, especially important uh, to <coughs> integrate in economic policies the socially poor. So it's all, all about the, the society, the population and the civil society. And therefore, um, as we mentioned uh, in the seminar, um, thinking about economic crisis that puts not only pressure on technocrats, but also on democracies. And um, therefore, uh, we are trying to support approaches that uh, include the aspect um, of social policies and um, the aspect that economic crisis uh, has for the society. Planning Commission or the government of the central bank is bothered about the economic justice or just to keep the state stable at the moment. What do you say on that? As far as Planning Commission is concerned, we are we are working on the social justice as well. All right. But as far as the state bank is concerned, they do, the mandate is not about the social justice. It's it's, it's more of an economic concern. They have to um, they have the monetary stability and price controls or inflation stability. Right. So in in that way, there, there's no, there's no uh, they, they don't have domain of social justice. But as far as the economic justice is concerned, at the planning commission, we do we have all the social uh, sections, climate sections, and since the SDGs is the hub of uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, hub at at the planning commission, we are yeah. the one who is reporting it. Uh, so basically, we uh, always talk about economic justice. We always talk about just societies. So do you communicate to the, the central bank to the board? We do not. Okay. Uh, we do not communicate through through the board. Or some uh, but, other but, channel. But, but, but whenever we have uh, interaction, formal interaction especially, we do talk, talk about the economic justice as, as, as well as the social justice. But since their domain is very specific to monetary policy, uh, they are working on something very concrete on the on the growth side, on the balance of payment side, on that side. But uh, having said, as Benjamin mentioned, the paper which we have uh, today uh, on the, on the discussion table, uh, which STPI had done, uh, that 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 was an eye opener for all of us. That there is a social side of monetary policy as well. Yeah. Though we always discuss in US that there is a gender side of monetary <coughs> policy. Which is social side. Which is a social side. But having said that only the gender side, that's that's uh, that's unfair for the for the for the overall social justice. But there are several other inequality based or a poverty based or the welfare based sides which needs to be counted for when we are talking about the monetary policy statements and monetary policy. Quickly, as you know, we're running short of time. Uh, what do you think, one, two, three, what instruments should be introduced to the policy or how it should be reformed further? Do you have any concrete suggestion after the paper? Well, I think um, we have to um, have in mind what the effects of uh, um, economic crisis are and what the effects, for example, of inflation are. I learned today that poorer sectors in Pakistani society spend like 6 to 70 percent of uh, their money into food. And so food inflation is a very crucial uh, issue, for example. 
Uh, and I think that we have uh, uh, to incorporate um, the aspects of social just um, uh, um, of socially just policies into economic policy. And I think this is a, kind of a, a mainstreaming uh, topic that uh, that should be taken into account. And um, uh, and uh, this is something that has also to do with redesigning certain policies and also. Uh, certain models uh, that are used by uh, economic institutions to uh, define their policies. And I think that's where we should start. Yeah, last concluding question from both of you, one by one. Do you think that because of the COVID and the Ukrainian war, that somebody was saying eating or heating, and this is a temporary crisis, I think we hope it should pass on in our one or two years, there should be some permanent features of the monetary policy regarding that uh, justice or what is now being called as injustice? What do you say? Well, I would say that um, um, in, in my perception, we are in, in permanent mood of crisis over the last uh, maybe 10 to 20 years. Right. So I don't know if we, are, if we really managed to uh, uh, get out of, uh, of, of the crisis mode and, um, and if, uh, if we can expect uh, easier times to come. I don't think so regarding, uh, for example, climate change, which is an, an, a crisis that uh, will definitely Unfolding. will definitely uh, um, uh, keep us busy over the next uh, years and decades. Uh, and, and I think that this, what we are trying to do, these forms of, uh, of bridging, um, building bridges, uh, bringing together different actors uh, within society um, to not forget about the parts of the socially poor uh, is a contribution to be prepared for these uh, difficult challenges that are to come. Okay. And Ali, you quickly. I second that. And um, as we always say that COVID or COVID basically uh, pushes us to think in that direction that health is a macro crisis. Yeah. Uh, the, the financial into, financial disruptions in 2007, eight day, that pushes us to think that these are the macroeconomic problems. Now floods are the macroeconomic problems, wars are the macroeconomic problems. So all of these are the pending that we should have the risk mitigation plans inside the modeling, uh, whether we are working on a mod um, uh, macro modeling or a monetary modeling or a fiscal modeling. So it should be the permanent feature of yeah, the Yeah, thank you very much for participating in the program. And the bottom line which we which has come, and I think more researches would be conducted on that and the more there'll be focused. But the bottom line is that the economic justice is fundamental to the social justice and without taking into consideration no macroeconomic policy can deliver in its uh, as it is planned with this we come to the end of the program mm -hmm.